Tis the season, Britain, I hope you're excited. As the meme says, only four more Brexit secretaries till Christmas. United States of Europe, making fun of the EU the American way. This week, British Prime Minister Theresa May tries shepherding her sheep turd of a Brexit deal through Parliament. And the first thing she did was to lose three procedural votes in a row. In other words, on your marks, get set, do! <laughs> Chancellor of the Exchequer Philip Hammond admits that the UK will be worse off under all Brexit scenarios. In other words, the chances of Brexit turning out well are none and none button yellow. Yellow and blue being the colors of the EU flag for an extra FU. Or to put it another way, there's this classic meme. And to put it in the Swedish way, here's the Brexit IKEA manual. The UK announced a new Brexit commemorative coin. And speaking of the Queen, might she still play a role in the Brexit negotiations? Don't forget, the Queen can move in any direction. Theresa May is doing her best for a quiet escape. But here come the men in hats who want to make a big splash. Continuing the Britain is a boat metaphor, here the UK itself is completely adrift, soon to be trapped on a lonely island with these men. And while Parliament debates a so-called Brexit divorce bill, this man had a real Brexit divorce, which he shared with Brexit hardliner Jacob Rees-Mogg, who made sure that when he was cornered, it was in the most Victorian-looking background available. Could Jacob Rees-Mogg be any more creepily Dickensian? Apparently, yes. Now, some of your YouTube comments will no doubt complain that I am just being undemocratic, such as this viewer who writes, This is bullying. Nothing short of abuse of power. Sorry, explain how any Remainers are in any political power at the moment? Uh, sorry, continue. If it takes us 50 years, the people will get their way. They're being perfectly misspelled or, as the meme says, I can hear you misspelling the words as you speak them. Now maybe the reason so many Brits are so upset about the EU is the decades of fake news invented about the EU as printed in British newspapers and captured in this blog. And these are just the A's. And it's not just the British press making up things about the EU, it's the British government taking credit for positive things the EU has done. Like this news that package holiday changes to benefit millions of travelers due to this EU directive. But according to this tweet from the British government, we are introducing new rules to protect package holiday makers and save customers tens of millions of pounds. The EU, noticing that the UK government keep taking the credit for EU laws, corrected their poster to say new European rules will protect package holiday makers booking online. Fixed it. As for Theresa May, well, she's nothing if not persistent, and no doubt she'll make the best of things at the expense of more cabinet ministers. As this meme says, In the future, everybody will be Brexit secretary for 15 minutes. And who can blame her? The price is only 50p for all these various cabinet knobs. Newsroom, it's a newsroom. Listen to the sound of the newsroom. Anything can happen in a newsroom. News, 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 news.